Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Today we're gonna to practice the Bhuja Pandasana, Titi Basana, Bakhasana transition. It is a string of transitions, a string of asanas that are put into the very middle of the Ashtanga primary series. And we use these particular transitions as well as asanas much later on in the Ashtanga sequence as well. So here's the first area in which we're really introduced to them. So let's come on over to the top edge of your mat. Dasana, Titi Basana, Bakasana is a very difficult and challenging transition. Please make sure you're warm enough to do these. Um, and I would definitely recommend some inner thigh openers, hip openers first before entering in, as well as some wrist stretches. Okay. So to get into the Bhuja Pandasana, we'll hop the feet around the hands. So here we go. And then just making our way into a little shape where we're feeding the feet in toward the head, and we're trying to slide the shoulders through the window of the legs. Taking the hands to the floor as gracefully as you can, and then we'll lift up the feet, practicing crossing at the ankles. Now you can stay right here, maybe this is exactly what you need. If you're going in a little bit deeper, we're gonna lean back with the butt, lean the chest forward, sweep the feet through the window of the hands, attempt to touch the chin to the floor, one, two, three, four, five rounds of breath, and then slowly making our way up and out of this. So the TT Basana transition is next, in which we're gonna take the legs up and out, inhale, and exhale, work towards your Bakasana, and then hop your way back to your Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. So, my recommendation is to take these things in steps. So the first thing I would do is to practice the Bhuja Pindasana by itself. The next thing I would do is to practice the TT Basana by itself, and then come out and practice your crow pose, your Bakasana, maybe with straighter arms, by itself. And then maybe over time, stringing two of them together, not all three, stringing the other two of them together, not all three, and then eventually stringing all three of them together and see how they feel. And maybe practicing the hop backs from crow pose to Chaturanga, just so you have that solidified anyway. So let me know how it goes. This is a challenging one. It took me a long time to finalize and I'm still working on it. So thanks so much for being here, everyone. Namaste.